Hello, welcome to Intutor. So this is um, basic 2018 past questions. If you are just hitting this channel for the first time, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get updates when we release videos. Okay, so um, the first question here says a cuboid has dash vertices. Okay, so um, the first thing you need to know is um, this is what a cuboid looks like. Um, so let's draw a cuboid. Okay, so okay, so this is our cuboid. Now the vertices are this point. Something you can you can call it the edges. So these are the vertices. So we have one, we have two, we have three, four, five, six, and we have um, seven. And we have this one to be it. So a cuboid has eight vertices. So the correct answer here is D. So I'm going to circle my D. Okay. So the second question says in the diagram below, angle X and angle Y are what? Okay. So um, if you really learned much about angles, you would have heard more about the angles, alternate angles, corresponding angles. Now, first of all, I'm going to describe draw both alternate angles and corresponding angles for you. As you mean, these are two parallel lines. Okay, now this is um, this is x and this is y. When you have this kind of case, you say x is equal to y. Reason being that they are what alternate angles. Okay, so as you mean, this line is parallel to this line. Then for a corresponding angle, you have something like this. So it's going to be that's it's this so this is x and this is y so you say x is equal to y where both lines are parallel because they are what corresponding they are corresponding angles now when you check the two situation you will get to understand that um the correct answer in number two is what i know you can guess it correct so it's going to be b they are corresponding angles you can see they are facing the same direction so they are corresponding angles just like in our example okay so that will take us to question um, three it says a prime factor has how many numbers now the definition of a prime factor is every prime factor has two factor um has um two factors that's one and itself for instance examples of prime numbers includes um let's say we have um two three five seven now the factors of two are um that's one and two the factors of three are one and three the factors of five are one and five while the factors of seven are one and seven so the correct answer is they all have what two factors okay so the next question says number four find the hdf of 18 24 and 32 okay so um we're going to find the factors of um 18 I will use the prime factor. So 2 into 18 is going to be 9. 2 into 9 will give us um, um 2 cannot go. So you use 3. 3 into 9 is 3. And 3 into 3 is 1. So take 24. 24 is going to be 2 into 24 will be 12. 2 into 12 is going to be 6. 2 in 6 will be 3. And 3 in 3 will be 1. So the next one is 32. Okay. So 2 into 32, 16. 2 into 16, it's um, 8. 2 into 8, it's 4. 2 into 4, it's 2. Why 2 into 2, it's 1. So 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. 24, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. While 32, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. Okay, so you can see... Which of the numbers are common in the three? You can see it's only two. So we have only two common. So therefore, the HCF is two. Two is our final answer. So the correct answer here is D. Okay. So that will take us to the next question, which says evaluate root five. Question five says evaluate root five, four over nine. Now to evaluate it, I'll change 
5, 4 over 9 to an improper fraction. Now, this is going to be 9 times 5. It's going to give us 45. 45 plus 4 will be, this will be 49 over 9. Okay? So, when you have all this to square, uh, the square root of this, now, square root of 49 is going to give us what? 7. Y square root of 9 is going to give us what? 3. So, the final answer is 7 over 3. So, as I can see in my option, none of the answers are correct. So, the correct answer is 7 over 3. Okay, question 6 says a man bought a radio for 1,000 Naira and sold it for 1,200 Naira. What is the profit percentage? Now, the first thing you need to know is that percentage profit is given by the formula um, selling price minus cost price all over cost price times 100 over 1. Now, this would be, this is going to be, the selling price is 1, 2. Its cost price is 1,000 divided by 1,000 times 100 over 1. Now, 1,000 minus 2 minus 1,000 is going to give us on 200 over 1,000 times 100 over 1. Now, double zero will cancel out the double zero. One zero will cancel out zero. So, we just have 20 percent. So, that's our final answer. That is percentage profit. Now, the correct answer here is going to be what? It's B. So, we're going to mark our B. Okay, that will take us to the next question. Okay, it says approximate 4, 5, 9, 7 to the nearest 100. Okay, so when you want to approximate 4, 5, 9, 7. Now, this is 10. 7 is 10. So why 9? It's um, on, um, 7 is unit. 9 is 10. Okay, why 5 is 100. So we are going to work on our 9. And since this is up to 9, we will call it what? We will approximate this, add 1 to this to make um, 5, 6. So our answer is going to be 4, 6, 0, 0. So this is our final answer when we approximate to the nearest 100. So our correct answer is C. Now mark this. So question 8 says approximate 0 0.347 to one significant figure. Now, to approximate to one significant figure, we are going to work on, we want to just have um, one number after our decimal point. So, um, because it's zero that precedes our decimal point. So, we just have three here and we have four. So, we will approximate this for, since it's not up to five, our final answer is going to be 0 0.3. So, this is our correct answer. So the final answer here is A. So I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark um, my A. Okay. So that will take me to question um, nine. Now question nine says, how many days are in four weeks and three days? So we want to calculate how many days we have in four weeks and three days. Okay. Remember, you have to recall that um, one week it's seven days okay that means four week is going to be what four times seven days and that will give us what 28 days so for if four weeks is going to give us 28 days we can now add our three days so this is going to be 28 days plus three days now this is going to give us 31 days so our final answer it's d that's 31 days. So as simple as that. If you understand these questions, you can solve it without issue. Now, this one says express 60% as a decimal. Now, 60% as a decimal, you just do 60 over 100. Now, the easiest way to divide by 100 is just to move your decimal places to the number of 0 to your left. So that's going to be 1 and 2. So it's going to be 0 0.6. As easy as that, you've gotten your answer. So I'm going to circle my C. But some other people might decide to um, take the longer approach, which would be 60 over 100. This is a second way of solving it. So 0 cancel 0. 2 here will be 3. 2 here will be 5. So this is what? 3 over 5. 
So they will do their long division 5 into 3. 5 cannot go into 3. You put your 0, put your point, and you add 0. 5 into 30 is 6. 5 times 6 is 30. So that's 0. So your answer still remains 0 0.6. Okay?